I am sure you've seen this video or many videos like this. This is a horsehair worm and it is a parasite, but it has a very complicated life cycle like many other parasites. And there's a reason that you see a lot of them in praying mantises and why it takes water to draw them out of the mantis. Horsehair worms require water to reproduce. Their eggs hatch in the water and they need aquatic animals to help them jumpstart their life cycle. The adults will lay the eggs and they need an animal like a mayfly to eat the eggs who then metamorphosize into their adults while still inside the gut of the animal and then the adults are eaten by stuff like praying mantises. Other species basically do the same thing, but they just get eaten by something that's a little bit smaller that they know a cricket will eat or a grasshopper. As long as it's naturally able to complete its life cycle, the parasite will grow up inside the gut of whatever the host is, and then that's when the brain starts to kick in. Or I should say the parasitic worm takes over the brain of the host and makes it go to water. Most of the time the host will end up drowning and as the host is in the water, the parasite will come out and then the whole cycle starts right over again. Multiple worms can be inside the same host. Then the adult worms will lay eggs and wait for the whole cycle to start over again. Most parasites are benign and you'll never even know they were there. But I guarantee you, you would know if a giant friggin' worm crawled out of your ass. <laughs>